Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Thursday. You know what that means. Rewards day on FIFA Ultimate Team. We have new rewards that are out in packs this week. So as you guys are get, getting ready to log on and open up your Foot Champions rewards for this week, uh, they're actually going to be different than what they have been in the past couple weeks. But it's honestly going to end up being very similar because most of the packs that I saw for the past couple weeks during the summer heat promo there was a lot of team of the season cards in those rewards but it is strictly team of the season cards in the elite packs and in the player picks uh from here on out through the rest of fifa ultimate team so just team of the seasons that's all we're going to see today in weekend league rewards i would i do expect um to see some prices dropping on those types of cards today. We're going to talk about that stuff, what's going to happen during rewards, talk about what happened yesterday with the content, the Europa League games. Today, we have more Europa League games, and also um, the Champions League stuff that's going to be going on as well, and then also touch on uh, FIFA 21 stuff that was out yesterday as well. So we're going to touch on all of that today. But again, first thing I want to talk about is Weekend League rewards are coming out today in a couple hours and i want to talk about what that's going to do to the market as per uh honestly i know this is a different set of rewards i know a lot of you guys might be slightly hyped to get a new different a new set of rewards i don't think that there's going to be that much of a difference today between the rewards that we're seeing for the um for the preseason promo for those types of rewards and I honestly don't think we're going to see a big that big of a difference from last the last week or so just because I feel like a lot of the Summer Heat rewards contain Team of the Season cards as well. And it's going to be pretty much just Team of the Seasons again um, this week. So what does that mean? More supply for Team of the Season cards. Just, just, just watch for the first couple hours of rewards. You're going to see some of these cards get hit with supply. You're going to see them drop a little bit. Um, let me do my La La Check, my daily YouTube video La La Check. 120,000 coins. You know, the, some of these cards might go up a decent amount after rewards based on the content that we had yesterday. I think there's going to be some more links that go up because of this Brian card, because this card looks sick. It's a pretty easy squad to do, 84 rated. Uh, for a 94 rated left back with a four-star weak foot, high medium work rates, uh, and a crazy looking card, kind of lacking in aggression. You know, you could boost that with a chem style, strength lacking a little bit as well. Uh, but that's a card I think a decent amount of people will try out this weekend. That's why I was just looking at Calvin Phillips, and he is up a lot in price uh, due to that green link that he gets with that card now i'm also kind of looking at rashford as well right because this guy if you look at his flipping graph this guy fluctuates a lot every day and this might be kind of an overlooked investment as a link investment to that brian card um because uh he really hasn't risen that much and that is a not a green link but it is a soft link a left mid to left back link a lot of people use the 451 a lot of people also have bruno fernandez so you could put a little green link together with those players if you wanted to so maybe watch that today. Uh, all other stuff that's going to happen today with rewards, right? It's just a usual rewards day. I expect the market to get hit with some supply on the SBC fodder area. 83s are up a lot. 84s are up a lot. Uh, even 85s are up a decent amount. 86s are up. A lot of this stuff is up in price, I think, due to the SBC that came out today. And of course, people just having not much to do in this game right now, except for grind upgrade packs. The Of course, the double 89 pushed some of this stuff up in price as well. So that's why I think you're seeing uh, some of these card prices go up. And they're going to take a hit today at rewards. They always do. We always see this stuff go down. So just watch out for some of those prices dropping today at Weekend League Rewards. Do you want to invest in some of this stuff? I'd stay maybe away from it. But if you want to try to risk it a little bit, do a club stock. If you think there are more SBCs coming today, uh, then go for that and do have some fun with that if you want to. I think you're going to watch these prices drop a little bit, though, during the day today. And honestly, rewards today, SBC fodder is going to drop. Team of the season are going to get supplied and then probably bounce back. Are there any cards that could go up today on the market? I think, in my opinion, yes, there are some cards that could go up. I'm particularly looking at icons and icon moments. Some of the cards that I watched last week, right? Stoikov for 400,000 coins on a bid. Is it still going to be there? It is. I'm actually going to get interested with that card right there. Uh, I liked the rises on a lot of icons last week, and I think I like it again this week because these cards are very rare, still very desirable to a lot of people in this game of FIFA. Like this Stoikov, I sold one earlier in the week for like 450, 470,000 coins. If I can snag this, it looks like I got outbid. But if I could snag this at like 410k, this might be a sale. 
uh, tomorrow after rewards, probably like the 470, 480 range. Again, because these icons do fluctuate almost every week. It happens just because they are rare. So if you want to take a look at some prime and icon moments cards, go ahead, be my guest. I do think you will see some of those rise up this week, as well as some of the TOTS cards after rewards, because people are still buying teams. People are still playing the weekend league. This is kind of a trial week in terms of weekend league rewards. It's the first week that we have um, these new rewards that are out with just guaranteed TOTS cards. So we will see how OP it is. I don't think it's going to be that different than what we've seen lately anyways, but it is something to kind of keep note of and take note of uh, and just be aware of, I guess, is to keep an eye on the rewards, see what happens with those. Yeah, again, right? He's 430K right now. I'm still going to bid this. I'm going to go to 415. Uh, the bid cannot be placed. I missed out. GG's. Anyways, watch out for some icons. Those could be rising up in the next couple days, depending on the content that comes out, of course. But uh, speaking of the content, that Joe Bryan SBC that we got uh, with the new card type, 94 rated left back, that was our content today, as well as the Mikel Antonio, who just got upgraded from an 85 to an 86. This is the cheapest 86 card in the game. Go get yourself this card. It's an 81 rated squad. It's honestly so easy to do. 81 rated, 60 chemistry, very easy card right there to do for an SBC fodder card at the very least. GG's. Um, and we also got a halftime challenge SBC during Europa League games today for a rare Electrum players pack. Is that again going to happen today? Also, I don't understand a halftime challenge. Complete this halftime challenge before time runs out. They put a halftime SBC out and they make it available for 24 hours. Very interesting, I know, but it is what it is. We did have uh, Europa League games and that is why that SBC came out. People are still tossing around that whole idea of are we going to see Mason Greenwood? Are there going to be more Road to the Finals Europa League cards put out? I honestly don't think so. In my opinion, I don't see it um, since these games are underway, but we'll see what happens. Uh, so a lot of cards are due for upgrades, right? We are doing upgrade on... Handanovic, and we are doing an upgrade on Mr. Anthony Martial because of Manchester United and Inter Milan advancing to the quarterfinal. By the way, my boy Christian Eriksen, aka me, scored a nice goal today. Not, not like an insane goal, but a nice goal, right? A nice one. And I want to look at these graphs, right? Because this Martial has gone up a lot in price, but he's actually come down from where he was. And I, and I talked about this. I talked about this um, yesterday in the video i said hey these guys might actually be coming down in price just because i don't know if there's enough hype for these cards um as they are going to get the upgrade this is what happened today with his price started at like 190 200 coins rose all the way to 250 260 and he's now back down to like 220 230 coins as we await the upgrade for anthony martial now i don't know if they're going to upgrade these after we finish the europa league games Today, that might be the way they go about it, and they might upgrade all the Europa League cards at one time, either late tonight or early on Friday morning. That's when I would expect to see the upgraded cards for everybody that moves into the quarterfinals uh, from the games today. So uh, Leverkusen, Rangers, Wolves, Basel, and Sevilla, whichever teams that you see advance into that quarterfinal, those upgrades, in my opinion, will probably go live Tonight, I think they'll go live tonight because EA is going to push those out. So that means Martial could go to a nine, will go to a 91, and Danovich is going to go to a 94. I even think Handanovich is like extinct right now. Yeah, he's extinct uh, as a 93 rated card, going to go to a 94. Uh, of course, if you have one of those, you're hoping for a price range update. I would not be super hopeful of a price range update because perfect example here is Harry Kane. His inform card that was released a couple weeks ago is still extinct right now. It's a 94 rated inform. It is extinct on the market. Uh, I know he doesn't have a lot of supply, but they haven't updated his price range. So, of course, he is not even able to be found. It doesn't look like they're really into updating price ranges. I mean, it's August. Why would they be? So that's just something to kind of consider uh, today. So, again, rewards today. I do expect the market to go down in terms of SBC fodder, maybe down a little bit in terms of the TOTS cards that are going to get supplied right away. And then some of those OP meta cards will then go up and because people buy their weekend league teams and continue to play this game on the weekend because that's when most people hop on this game anyway, right? Of course, with Champions League going on this weekend as well, um, what's going to happen with some of these cards? I think there's going to be a decent amount of hype. And, you know, whenever there's big time... Uh, Whenever there are big time uh, football matches being played IRL, that draws hype 
to uh, to FIFA. It draws hype to FIFA because people watch an IRL football match and they want to go replicate that. They want to play with those players they just watched on FIFA. So I do think you'll see a decent amount of hype this weekend uh, because of the Champions League. People wanting to get on the game, wanting to play with cards from their teams. Uh, of course, these are live items. Again, what you're going to see with a lot of these cards is most likely uh, kind of an interaction like we saw with Martial today, right? We're probably going to see some rises up and then some drops down and uh, after the game. Now, of course, if it's a team that is that lost, today we didn't have any good examples because there weren't any live items from any of the teams that lost today or got eliminated. So Wolfsburg, Istanbul, and LASK, none of those teams had special cards. Well, I guess we had the Mbabu, uh, the Mbabu wrote to the final, but uh, that's not a card that's on the market. Um, you know, it'll be interesting to see what happens with like if Rangers can beat Leverkusen, right? Or if uh olympiacos beat wolves you know some of those cards have live items that are on the market or of course the big one today is sevilla and roma my guys that have juan jesus or diego carlos uh, a lot of you guys are going uh to be rooting for some of these teams today because you want to see them get upgraded right juan jesus right now i think it's like what 60 70 000 coins this guy might get a plus one boost today go to a 90 overall center back if they do win, Mkhitaryan would get upgraded as well. And then Diego Carlos would get upgraded if um, Sevilla does win. So that there's going to be a decent amount of hype for those cards. If Sevilla does win, do I expect this card's price to drop? Absolutely, I do. I think it's risen up a decent amount already. And I would 100% expect it to drop a little bit more just as people sell cards that they bought to initially invest in or because they thought they were going to go up in price so just be careful with some of that and we're going to see more of that on the weekend with the champions league games on friday and saturday coming up as well now let's talk a little bit about what happened yesterday in terms of fifa 21 because what's going to happen a lot with these videos is as they put out fifa 21 content i got to talk about it a little bit right i have to talk about it just a little bit i'm going to show you some stuff actually this tweet just went live a couple minutes ago in the pack code ea added contains a five icon moments players on a five game loan. This smells like some sort of objective again to me, probably something that's gonna drop on Friday for like a FIFA 21 objective like we saw last week with the team of the year players being dropped. You had an objective there to get your coin boost in FIFA 21. So uh, I would imagine that this is probably gonna drop on Friday, maybe today on Thursday with some sort of other objective for FIFA 21 related content. That is what I would expect to see uh from this this is honestly almost seems like a joke right a lone five icon moments pack uh but yes this is the objective i'm referring to if you have not finished it yet complete this get your five game 500 coin boost in fifa 21 so just something to think about right there something something to uh to think about and to possibly expect but this is what i wanted to show you guys actually two things two things i want to show you guys First of all, get involved with this giveaway right here. If you have not, go to my Twitter at foot underscore accountant. Follow me and Golden Bear. Get involved with this Ultimate Edition giveaway. If you've not gotten FIFA yet, this could be a chance where you get it for free. All right. So get involved with this and uh, get yourself a chance to win um, FIFA 21 for free. This is what this is what I want to show you guys today. I tweeted FIFA Direct Communications today. Uh, I tweeted out. They said, "Hey, we're going to be doing." A Q and A. One of the game directors or game developers was reading questions today. If you go on their Twitter account at EA FIFA Direct, they were answering a lot of questions from people on Twitter today. Uh, and I went ahead and asked uh, because I didn't see a lot of information on shooting and finishing or goalkeeper movements or or anything with fixes in the shooting slash finishing area of things. Um, I said, hey, I don't see a deep dive. What are the changes? What are going to be you know? in FIFA 21 what are the changes they said multiple improvements were made to shooting and goalkeepers to near post shot coverage for goalkeepers and more personality impact when shooting so that to me seems like a pretty minor update um but you know I'm kind of interested in the finesse shot rework and the manual heading so uh they also said we'll be looking at close closely looking at community feedback in the future to tuning and improving these systems so kind of a basic response doesn't look like they've really done a ton with shooting and finishing or like goalkeeper movement but i wanted to ask that question today because some of you guys wanted me uh to find out about that if i could possibly do that so i asked them today and they actually responded to my question uh which was kind of cool ggs to ea thank you for at least responding if you want to go take a look at the other threads uh on that question there was honestly some funny responses that they had um a lot of people were flaming them today on twitter 
uh, because they said a lot of stuff about um, we can confirm that there is no AI or there's no, as mentioned, there's no scripting, handicap, momentum, or DDA in the game. And then that tweet got a lot of love, as you can imagine. A lot of people posted their clips of things that they have seen in FIFA that definitely prove that DDA is in the game. We know you guys have a patent on it, EA Sports, uh, but they're never going to go out and say it because that would just not be good for them. But it is what it is uh, with that. So there's a little bit more information relating to FIFA 21. Again, as the content on this preseason promo is pretty lackluster, you're probably going to see me do a little bit of FIFA 20, a little bit of FIFA 21 as we get information and stuff like that. So just kind of stay tuned, sit tight, and, uh, you know, you'll probably see a little bit of FIFA 21 stuff intertwined in the videos as well. But if you're trying to make some coins this week, you know, I mean, there's probably going to be some more SBC cards to drop every single day. Uh, not every single day, but every time we get an SBC card like this, Brian, especially if it's an English player, you know, English links, green links to those cards are going to go up. So just... If you're on at 6, 7 p.m. UK time, uh, you definitely have the opportunity to make some coins with some quick investing movements at 6 p.m. UK. Sell as it rises up as a lot of other people buy cards that link to the new versions as we get new cards in this game. Uh, and you can make coins that way, of course, as well. But good luck with your awards today. I honestly think it's not going to do that much to the market except push some things even higher in price, especially in the team of the season and in the icon areas just because so many people uh, are still buying end game squads and they're trying cards out and they're playing the game of fifa um for what it is so that just kind of kind of keep that in mind today as i might snag myself a little trezeguet here on bid 128 this is this type of bids that could go unwatched and get you a good deal on a Wednesday night before rewards. Watch some of these open bids tonight. If you got a little bit of time, you're watching this video before rewards, hop on some open bids. Now, it looks like I have a little bit of competition, um, but bids like this happen all the time. I'll be able to sell this card for at least probably 160, 170 tomorrow after rewards. So just kind of keep that in mind. I do think the market's going to go up a little bit in the meta card type of range and category if that is something that you are interested in right now in this game so that's the video for today boys good luck with your rewards if you get something sick send it to me on twitter and get involved with that giveaway that i showed you before as well if you enjoyed this video smash a thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you are new it's been nate the foot accountant i will catch you guys later peace out